Sorry, y'all. I got cut off. <laughs> See what happens when you start talking some real stuff? Sometimes you get cut off, right? But anyway, so in order to, to forge those healthy, strong, unbreakable bonds with other people, with finances, with food, with your health, with your body, you have to first have a very strong, healthy relationship and association to yourself, to your mind, to your own thoughts. You have to understand what your process is. And the only way you know what your process is, and not only what your process is, because all of us have a process, but your process may not necessarily be working for you. But the only way you'll understand what your process is and if it's working for you is when you spend time with yourself, right? Hello. It's when you spend time with yourself. All right? And the more you spend time with yourself, you start to connect with the parts of you that are going to awaken you to the answers. It's all the answers that you have about every question you could possibly have, it lives within you. And you have to learn how to trust that. But the only way you learn how to trust, right, is by being in the presence of your own counsel, tapping into your own counsel, trusting your own counsel, okay? So this is an ongoing daily practice that we must do every single day. And it's not something that's taught in schools, it's not something that most families teach their children, it's not something most of us grew up with. It is a practice, it is a Thing that you have to learn how to do and then you have to constantly put it into action every day you can't just do a program right you can't just and I tell people this in my um, in my be magic program I said look I'm giving you tools and you're doing really well in the program but what I don't want to happen what I don't want to hear happen is that you were doing so well while you were in the program and once the program was over with, you dropped all the tools and you stopped your practice and things started falling apart for you. You have all this great success and all of these things are moving in your life and in your, in your career. But the moment we're done with the program, you stop everything. You have to continue practicing. Meditation is so important and it's not important because it's some new age practice that's trendy and sexy to do. Meditation is important because it connects you with you. That's the missing key, the missing component of everything that you want in life is you. You're the missing puzzle piece, okay? The universe is always setting us up for success. However, it can also provide you with evidence of failure if that's what you have running through your unconscious and your unconscious belief system and your unconscious programming. So we have to get in the practice of understanding what our process is and whether or not the process is a healthy one. If your process is not a healthy process, if your process is not fully fleshed out, then you're going to be going in circles constantly. So being with yourself is so important. And then you have to figure out, am I spending enough time with myself? Okay, yeah, I spend 10 minutes a day at meditating or going for a walk or whatever. Is that enough time? Do I need to tap in more? You know, I say it's never too much time spent with yourself, especially if you're healing, especially if you're trying to tap into um, some wider part of yourself, it's if you're trying to expand yourself and expand your mind, I think that it is important for you to step back from the riffraff of everyday life. Maybe you might have to take a break from your friends. You might have to take a break from your family sometimes and say, you know what, I need to just be with me be with me, okay, and tap in right now. So I truly do hope that this message, I hope the other video,
came through too because I don't know what happened, but the internet got um, whacked out. And I mean, I'm walking around, so that's whatever. But hopefully the first part of this video, you guys got it. Um, and I'm hoping that this section of the video, you, you get it and, and you're able to catch what I'm saying because it's very important. And I have, man, I've been meditating now and doing this kind of energy work, healing work, probably for the past 13 years. You know, um, and I'm still learning. I'm still uncovering things. And guess what? It's never going to end. It's never going to end. I'm never going to come to the, the, the final part like, oh, I'm finally done with all of this healing. I'm finally done with all of this self-work. It never ends. It's constant. Did they paint that house again? That's very bright. Yeah, they painted that. That's very bright orange i'm not i would show you guys but i don't want to put this person's house all over the social media that's tacky i don't do that but anyway um it's it's one of my favorite houses in my neighborhood but it's quite bright very very bright <laughs> super bright anyway um i'm i'm sharing this with you guys because i know how much i know that it works it's effective and so some things I feel can be shared with everybody and shared for free. There's other things that you do need to exchange energy, time, money, okay? So that you can get a deeper learning of it and you can gain tools. Because guess what? I had to invest. I, I'm constantly investing in myself. I invest in myself all the time, thousands of dollars, whether I think I have it or not. I said, you know what? This is something that I need to do. I need to invest in me because there's something greater for me. I'm not quite yet at the point where I want to be. Therefore, I need more tools. Therefore, there's other things that need to be tapped into, paid attention to. There's some energies that need to be released or transmuted or transformed. And so while I'm teaching, I'm still receiving teaching. As I grow my practice, I'm still practicing, you know, as I pass down information, I'm receiving information. So I'm, I walk my walk, I talk my talk, and I do the work that I'm sharing with everybody. I do this daily, okay, every single day. Even when I don't feel like it, I say, okay, why don't I feel like it right now? Let me sit my butt down and be with myself. And every time I do it, it's, it's like exercise. It's like, how could I not want to do this? It feels so good. I have so much more clarity. I feel more healthy. I feel more vibrant. I feel more alive. Why wouldn't I do this? You know? And I'm not going to go through my whole like life story and background, but I just want to let people know that My life has been a beautiful testimony to <laughs> the reason why I got into this work in the first place, okay? And I say a beautiful, I say beautiful not because everything was shiny and pretty and perfect. I say beautiful because all of the trials, the tribulations, the heartache, the pain, the times when I thought I just didn't want to be here anymore and I was this close to taking myself out of here. Um, all of that pushed me into this. And I remember the day, and this wasn't that long ago, the day that, uh, the night that I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And a voice said, why don't you sleep on it? And if you wake up tomorrow and you feel the same way, go ahead and do what you got to do. You know, we ain't going to try to stop you. This is your choice, your life. You have free will. You do what you want. I woke up the next day because I had a plan. And, you know, anybody who is in the therapeutic world, you know, when somebody creates a plan and they have set it up to take themselves out of here, they're serious. You know. So because I was because I was going through what I thought at the time was the worst possible thing. And it really wasn't. 
it really wasn't. It was all in my head. But when I woke up the next day, I said, you know what? I've been through worse. I've had, I've felt worse. So if I can just continue with this day and then continue with the next day and can find some way or reason to start to feel better, then it's worth me staying here for a little bit longer, okay? And seeing what can happen. And I'm happy that I did that because that propelled me into learning more and digging deeper and leaning in more. So if you are ever feeling like you're at the end of your rope, you don't know what else to do, things, you just feel like, you know, you, you come into a block and a standstill, spend some time with you. I know it's scary. I know sometimes you don't want to do that, but just spend time with yourself. Dig in, lean into you, you know? And if something scary comes up, just sit with it and face it and ask it questions. What are you trying to show me? What is this fear trying to teach me right now? Why am I so afraid right now? Why am I so angry? Why am I so tired? Why am I so sad right now? What is it trying to teach me? And that is not, I'm not telling you not to feel your emotions. Feel your emotions, but, but get something out of it. Don't just feel it and feel all bruised up and victimized by it. Get something out of it and take the lesson that you got from it, the message that you got from it, and let it be fuel for your fire. Turn it into something that you can benefit from. Turning, turn it into something that's going to empower you. Turn it into something that's going to empower others. That's the importance of sitting with yourself and spending time with you. You have to do this. There's no way around it. Okay? We are coming out of that Piscean age where everything was dogmatic and based on religion and based on you seeking something outside of yourself to save you. We're coming out of that phase. We're moving into the Aquarian age where everything is mental, okay? And that's the first hermetic principle is all is mine, the universe is mental, okay? So people can bend spoons. They can create rocket ships. All of these things were once thought forms, they were once a thought, and then someone decided that they were going to put everything that they have and use their bodies, use their energy, use their creativity. They had to sit with themselves in order to receive and download the next steps and the messages to get them to the finished product of that rocket ship. Okay? So we are in that age now where it is a must that you understand how your mind works. It's a must that you understand you and your process. It is a must that you sit with yourself and go deep. Okay? We have to. Otherwise you're going to be left behind. You're going to be left behind. And everybody is not going to do this. Okay? And those are the ones that you will see being sick, being sad, losing everything. All right, well, my battery is about to die on me, y'all, so I'm going to get off of here. But um, I hope that this video helps somebody. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> you can share it if you choose to. I love you all. And I'll be back on here periodically when the spirit moves me to get back on here and say things, okay? All right, let me figure out how to turn this off because I can't see anything. It's so sunny and bright. Lord, how in the world? <laughs> okay, finish. All right, y'all. Holler. Bye.